Hello everyone, I completely forgot if my mic was on or off or not. <laughs> I'm Wookie and I'm here with another Dragalia Laws video today looking at the upcoming Gala Dragalia that's coming with summer. Man! They're doing a lot of these Gala banners, huh? Right before the anniversary in September, so I'm gonna take a look at it. We only got like various amounts of month left. Yeah, so I think it's about a month or so off before we start hearing uh, some stuff about the anniversary, but either way, I'm going to look over the new uh, Gala unit, Gala Aldrich, and the Summer unit that's coming on this banner, uh, Summer Leonidas, so that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. Comment, tell me if you're going to be summoning or not. Like I said, a lot of people are probably saving up for anniversary. That's what I really want to do, um, but maybe depending on how much I like the look of Aldrich, I'll summon, and yeah, let's get into it. And subscribe to me if you want more video stuff. Okay, so here he is in full-on Assassin's Creed gear. As a king and a father, I would see my children inherit my light. A warrior who watches over the prince with eyes both stern and warm. Burdened with myriad sins, he fights, in awe, he fights on in secret for his atonement. Now he see finished the thing. Now he would, now he would see finish the thing he left undone as the man whose name he cast aside. All right, over karma. Consume one level of the user skill. He's also a light axe, which is a interesting combo for a galley unit. Consumes one level of user skill reserve, deals damage to enemies directly ahead, inflicts flash burn, and dispels one buff for each of the target. After using the skill for a set period of time, it will be possible to trigger a skill chain. If Overcome is activated during the skill chain window, a variant of the different effect will be used instead. So he's just like Gal Alex, it looks like, which is fitting because he looks a lot like Gal Alex. <clears throat> Damage is 390 over three hit, over three hits. Skill energy required is 1,129. Special effects are Dispel Buff and Flash Burn. During skill chain, it is 390 damage over 3 hits, same level of skill energy required, and special effect is Dispel Buff and Damage Modifier 120% against Flash Burn enemies. Uh, and then we have Circlet of Exaltion. Consumes one level the user's skill reserve. It deals damage to enemies directly ahead. After using this skill for a set period of time, it will be possible to trigger a skill chain of Circle of Exhaustion to act is activated during the skill. A window of variant with different effects will be used instead. Damage is 793 over 2 hits. Skill energy required is 1,129. And during skill chains, it is the same, same, except for now the damage modifier is 120% against flash burned enemies. Skull ability is critical damage, 30%. Adds 30% to the modifier applied to the grill damage, benefits the whole team. Light defense, 6%. Undying will, 2. Increases Audric's attack rate by 2% every time he uses a skill, up to 10%, and grants him a skill reserve with 3 levels. This skill reserve is filled with standard attacks, 4 strikes, and dash attacks connect with enemies. Also grants Audric a defense amp with a maximum... Team amp level of 3 every 2 times he uses a skill- wow, really? Really? Okay, after this amp is granted, this ability will not grant it again for 30 seconds. There it is, because I was about to say, that's kind of crazy! They had to put in something to stop this, because that's what they do. Uh, interdimensional Blessing 2, reduce susceptibility to poison and curses by 100%, and gauge acceleration 35%. Okay. Um, so first things first, I like the idea of him being kind of a unit kind of built like Gala Alex. The one thing that I'm not so sure of is the reason Gala Alex kind of has a good time is that she's in a class that can kind of easily combo and keep her, you know, keep on getting SP a whole bunch. The one problem is that Axe isn't really built like that, so we have to hope that he kind of has special animations. And let me actually pause and see if they've released a video showing the animations. No, looking at looking at the video, it looks like it's just a uh, skill animation and not his actual basic attack animations. So we're gonna have to wait and see kind of to see if he's faster than most axe units, because the problem is is that most axe units are super slow. That's like the big negative about them is that they're just insanely slow. So they kind of have to be designed with that in mind. So we'll see if they got a similar thing going with him. He does have a sword in this picture. So maybe that will mean he will sometimes be super fast. Maybe he uses a sword and an axe sometimes. Who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But could be a potentially interesting unit. And he looks cool as hell too. Look at him. It's a really cool looking unit. No denying that. 
I will teach you what a true vocation is. I'll cheat you. A first scion of Alberia sets his conqueror's eyes on the sunnier, on the sunniest of battlefields. Summer vacation. Casting aside his everyday responsibilities, he puts the very notion of respite in a proverbial headlock in a bid for maximum relaxation. And he is a shadow lance. Not at all phallic with everything going on here. Just built. He is shredded like a ninja turtle in this picture. It's insane. Skills. Exigent Vanquisher. Ex exigent. Exigent? I feel like it's... I'm not pronouncing it right. Uh, let me try and... Exigent? Exigent? Exigent. Maybe it's elegant? Because it's E-X... Oh, it's E-X-L-G-N-T. Elegant? Excellent? Maybe the X is silent? Elegant Vanquisher deals damage to <laughs> leave a comment to tell me which version of what I said you think it is. Deals damage to enemies in a line and partially fills the user's dragon drive gauge if the attack connects during dragon drive. Deals damage to enemies in a line and lowers their shadow blight resistance. Damage is 1,548 over 1 hit. Skill energy required is 2,285. Dragon drive energy gained is 800. And during Dragon Drive, it's the same. No, damage is 2,000 and over 2,022. And the skill energy required is the same, and you don't get Dragon Drive energy anymore. But instead, you get Shadow Blight Resistance minus 20%, and that lasts 30 seconds. Does not stack. Phantasmic Ser Servant. Yeah. Phantasmic. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Deals damage to the target nearby enemies and inflicts Shadow Blight. Also, wow, really? Shadow Blight and. No, no, I was dumb. I thought he was doing flash burn at the same time, but he's not. Also grants the user a defense amp and increases the entire team's chance of inflicting Shadow Blight. Damage is 848, 854 over 2 hits. Skill energy required is 4,960 because it, there's no limit on how much he gets that, uh, that amp. And Shadow Blight's infliction rate is 50%, lasts 30 seconds. Shadow Blight lasts 21 seconds and is the same as everything. And the amp is a defensive amp, max level 2. Not a strength amp, so it's a shadow. That's a defense amp. Co-op ability is HP 15%, increase HP by 15%, duh. Shadow, oh, Shadow Blight equals strength 13%. The self-explanatory. Summer Conqueror 2 grants the user a Dragon Drive gauge and changes... The shapeshift button into a dragon drive button. Tapping this button activates the dragon drive. The dragon drive grants the following effects. The user's four strikes are changed and have three increasingly powerful charge levels. Movement is possible while charging, but at a slower movement speed. The user's strength is increased by 50%. Blindness is resistance 100%. And Shadow Blight Edge 50%, which increases the chance of inflicting Shadow Blight by 50%. This guy is just built for giving Shadow Blight. <laughs> And that's really his only function, it looks like. So he's going to be amazing at giving Shadow Blight because he's literally built to give Shadow Blight. Um, it's also funny that he. I never thought about it, but yeah, I guess Summer. Uh, not Summer Leonidas. Uh, just Leonidas in general suffers from the same thing as. Um, as uh, Mim, where he canonically only transforms into Mars. So. He can't be any other color but red. So it's going to be very interesting if they're going to do the same thing for Shell, where she's also a Dragon Drive character, to keep it, I guess, with the lore that she always changes into the kitty, or the kitty is maybe now another element. We'll see about that, but it seems like going forward, anyone who is kind of has a unique dragon to them, if they are not that element, they are a Dragon Drive character, and I think Mim kind of is the new framework for how Dragon Drive characters work, and I think in the recent update they kind of gave that to everyone, so I think he'll be a perfectly fine Dragon Drive unit. He'll give the Shadow Blight like you want, and he'll look hot doing it. So that's my overall opinion of it, and whether or not I'm going to be summoning on this banner is really going to depend on how cool Audric ends up looking, so I'm going to keep an eye on Twitter, see how that kind of pans out. Um, if there's a summon video, you'll know that I'll, I've decided to do a summon. But I'm not going to go hard even if I do decide to summon. Because again, we have a month left until the anniversary. And the anniversary unit is usually pretty, really good. 
So I would prefer to have them over not, so... Or it's someone tied to the story that's super hype, so... Let's wait and see, so... See you in today's video, everyone. I wish you all the best of luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video, wherever it may be. If you guys have a good night, bye-bye.